So what we study uh, is a it's a it's a glass sphere uh, like this. It's at the size is about 30 micron, which is the size of a human hair. And we study the mechanical vibrations, the mechanical displacement, the radio uh, breathing modes. So what we do is we first we cool the sphere uh, to a cryogenic temperature, to a liquid helium temperature, about uh, two Kelvin. Then we use a laser beam and to excite the optical modes in the spheres, take the energy uh, out of the, uh, the mechanical vibration, essentially cool the mechanical motion. Our goal is to get to a, a point where this, the, the system is in the so-called quantum mechanical ground state. Essentially, there's a very little excitation, there's very little displacement in the, uh, in the mechanical motion. So at, this, at that point, we, we, we should be able to, to really explore the, the quantum mechanical world of otherwise classical mechanical system. Frankly, actually, we don't know where this is going because, uh, you know, what excites us physicists is it's, it's the unknowns, it's the surprises. At, at Oregon, the Oregon Center for Optics, we have uh, very strong experimental and theoretical uh, programs on applications of quantum information, quantum computing. There's also other applications, for example, precision measurements. If you think about it, uh, at the temperature of 200 millikelvin for these kind of mechanical systems, the actual mechanical displacement, you know, how much uh, the, uh, the surface of sphere moves is 10 to the minus 18th meter. And so that's uh, many orders of magnitude is smaller than the size of a hydrogen atom. And so this is mind-boggling, essentially, where actually can measure these kind of things.